So, no, we are going to try to speak to ourselves to say, okay, I'm going to try to do halfway. Like, you know, Tokiko is doing a little bit too hard, so I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to go a little slower and just speak to yourself and match to your ability. And so, therefore, to avoid any kind of injury. Like, even we have, you know, touch of extra work done, next day you perhaps can feel something. And a little amount of you can feel something tomorrow morning is not a bad thing. But if you feel kind of too strenuous next day, that's not a very um, good way to go. So make sure to talk to yourself and you know you, you, you have to match your, uh, you know, uh, necessary way. Anyways, so we are going to try to do a bit of breathing exercise and a bit of meditation. And meditation means just to let your spine go nice and straight, relaxing your shoulders, keep your spine nice and straight always. Slowly reach your, tilt your face towards the fingertips. Let air comes out from your breathing, like a nostril. That air touches to the fingertips. Nice to deep breathing in. And exhale. We try twice more. Breathe in and relax. A little deeper. One more time. Breathe in and exhale. Exhale goes longer and relax. Let your fingertips tap. I hope you can see it. Fingertips taps. So energy goes from one side of your finger to the next side of the finger. And see if you can squeeze your fingers. You can do this anytime when you're watching television or any second, anytime you have to try to get your good energy in between your fingertips. That goes for your toes too but we try to do this, okay? Then put your palms together, squeezing palms together. Squeeze, 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 and hold on to the wrist together, hold on, and see if you can squeeze, 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 goes all the way to your elbows. And we talked about the elbows, how neglected they were. I hope you paid attention to your elbows a bit more last week. And coincide circle, massaging on your elbows. And see if you can squeeze, squeeze your Lower arms to the wrist. Pull. Pull your both elbows to the side. We always use our body, parts of our body, to be our tool of any kind of exercise. I do not use much of tools except using maybe potatoes we talked about. And other way. Three times of this, hold on to the wrist and give a good circle. We're gonna start moving, arms, breathe in and exhale. Always breathing in, big amount of air into your chest and lower than 10. Going other way, pushing your key out, energy out. Getting down, up. If your arms are too painful or too tired, 
just to do halfway. This is fine, right? And stay still making diamond shape with your fingers, bringing your diamond shape to aim the sky if you can, that is, just to lift it up to the amount you like to lift it up. Then slowly bringing your diamond shape to your lower dantian and see if you can press your diamond shape to your lower stomach. That's the energy holding place. You have a good energy coming from the lower dantian right here. And hold it. Now making the circle with the arms, just the circle. Circle means we have talked about this energy goes around 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 so try to make a good circle and let your imagining a good energy going around one direction coordinating your breathing at the same time and the energy goes the other way too right Make sure to do three times of other way, circling around, bringing your arms to the highest you can manage, and around the circle. Do not drop your head to the back, please. Okay, neck bones are very important and they're very fragile. So you keep your head straight up tall to the sky, slowly pushing your right elbow to the back, left elbow to the forward, and Look through the circle, so you're tilting your neck a little bit. Then straightening it, I hope you're breathing. You try to do a, all sort of breathing. Even while, when I'm speaking, I cannot breathe properly, so please do your own breathing. Breathe and twist the other way. You can twist more if you can, you like to. Then straighten yourself. And see if you can drop your left elbow down and the right elbow up so you're stretching your right side of your body, right? And see if you can tilt into the other way. We are going to side to side, side to side. We have a bit more stretch this today than last week. Stretch, stretch. See, we do not use those muscles and ligaments in the everyday movements. Right? You don't use this while you're cooking. Uh, you, I'm sure you can. I normally jump around while I cook. So you, <laughs> I don't stand still. And I get exercise that way. Okay, keep your arms up a little bit higher, just to keep it in front of you. And making big circle. Big circle again. Breathe in and exhale. And the breathing in and exhale, place it into front of your chest. See if you can let your fingertips to open up, open up, and like flowers opens up. We just talked about flowers, and that's very nice things to do. Heels of your hands are together, and elbows. If you can put your elbows together, it's very, very difficult to do. And exhale, kicking your elbows out. Breathe in a little higher. And exhale, hmm. we normally do about five times, but today we just walk, do one more time of this a little higher. And, hmm. and hold. Now, we often do the hands very often. Now, what I like to do is, if you have got potatoes, or just I'm gonna show you, I have potatoes here, and we talked about asking you to get potatoes. Potatoes, I'm gonna repeat, you have got good energy inside of your potatoes, they are alive, right? So you, we, I normally use potatoes. Onions doesn't work very well. So you try to use a potato and making figure eight shape with the hands. Now, what, what does it 
do is you can see my wrist turning and closing, turning, that's right, closing. Now, if you have no potatoes, I got something else here. You can use toilet paper. Like inside the toilet paper, we don't, you, have, you don't want to throw it out. Keep those toilet paper, and can you see it? Just rotate, uh, put, uh, put, um, toilet papers, outwards and inwards. So those are good exercise for the fingers and the prevention for the arthritis, okay? I got the arthritis on my right. It's a very really strange thing. These fingers, I got arthritis. So I use those fingers, not very painful today, and use those. We all, always have that weakness somewhere, right? And see if we can do the same thing with those. It's a little bit lighter. And now, what am I doing now? Now, I'm using these muscles right here and try to do poop, poop, poop. All right, good. Now, try to keep your spine still straight and breathe in and out, breathe in and out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About three times. Then turning the other way. And this is a little bit strenuous for this part of the arms. Try to do up, up. Now, while you are doing, see if you can pull up your stomach in, pull your stomach in, and mm, 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 mm. two more. Mm. And let's see if you can just do a little pedaling with your hands. That's good. And the other way back, pedaling with the hands. All right. And rest. Now see if you can, we're gonna have to work on the bottom half before we get up. So put those things to the side. And see if you can get your hands, two hands on the right, what is it, thigh, top of the thigh, slowly lifting your knee up. So you have a little bit of a pressure downwards in the hands. So you get very heavy, heavy feeling. So you, you really have to fight it. Okay, just lift your right thigh up and bring your thigh down. One more time, lift it up. Your spine is straight, I hope, and the shoulders are not lifting. Try to keep your shoulders as they are. Other side, left side. Lift your left knee up and fight it and down. Lift it up, your hands press it down and fighting and down. Next, what I'd like you to do is hold on to the chair, go slightly forward. All right, keep your spine straight, straight still. And we talked about this last week. Open up your feet a little bit. See if you can slide your foot. Slide your foot. So your heel slides out and pressing, uh, pressing your right toe down and the toes other ones pulls in and the heel, and the instep, and toes in. One more time, heel, and press your foot down, and instep goes down, toes goes back to the front of you. Other side, heels, instep down. Now, while you do this, rest of your body, like just watch your shoulders, it stays down. And rest of the body means I'm into stomach. This earlier, try to keep the stomach lower than the downwards. So you have a nice, tighter stomach eventually. I'm getting kind of a little floppy around here. I like to tighten up the parts. Here goes forward. 
and the instep goes down, toes slides toward you. One more time. Heel out. So your leg is kind of don't have to be straightened, all right? Can be halfway if you wish. I myself like to stretch so I can feel the calf muscles, right? And down, press it in. And next, what I'd like you to do is try to, okay, I wonder if you can see me. Try to pivot your foot. We're going to do this in a standing. So just try to do this. Open up your thighs much as you like to open up, all right? Heels turns open, toes turns open, heels turns open, toes goes open. So while you are doing it, make sure your knees are right on top of your toes or never passes the top. So toes goes in, heel goes in, toes goes in, and straight. One more time. Da, 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 da. And the close. And here. Now, see if you can get your uh, right leg. Kick your right foot forward and bring it in. Kick your right foot forward, bring it in. One more time. Stomach, tighten up your stomach and spine straight. Kick. And the other side. Left foot. Kick, close, kick, close, kick, and then bring it in. Now, the next practice, I don't know if you can manage or not. See if you can bring your body facing right, if you can. Hold on to the back of your chair and see if you can get your, just the right side of the cheek on the chair. All right, just keep your spine straight. See if you can slide your foot back, all right? And see if you can feel nice tension on the front of your left side. Spine is still straight and stretch your left side a little bit more. You can bend your knee if you like, all right? And hold on so you have a good Tension from here to there, and hold it. Breathe in, exhale. One more time of breathing in, exhale, and hmm. Then bring your knee back to you and sliding to the forward. We are gonna do other side, always do both sides evenly, and just hold on. One more, just the left side of your back cheek on the, uh, on the chair, keeping your right leg back, and just to be nice and comfortable. Okay, make sure you have a very steady chair so you don't flip over. And, hmm, hmm. Now, myself, sometimes I like to do this position, like it nice and square, all right? So both both uh, thigh is facing straight. Now sometimes I like to turn very slowly, so my foot turns, so my toe is facing you, right? And so I can feel those thigh muscles twisting a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit of a challenge. So you can try it a little bit, but if it's too um, difficult. Go back to just parallel. And so bringing your leg back in, close it. I only do it twice at once today. All right, so we're going to get up now. Up. Up. Now, see if you can get yourself nice and straight. And we, I'm going to show you first. Then go on the toes, heel. Toes, heel, breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale. Nice and soft, breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale. All I, what I'm trying to do is going on a sort of like front part of your feet 
and roll it back to the heel. Very small amount, you don't want, want to flop backwards. Front, heel, front. Now, let's uh, get your arms to go. Breathing, exhale. So it's a good rhythm you can do. Twice more. One more time. Now, get your body energy going. Now, if you can see my toes, all right? See if you can get your, get your weight on the left side. Turn your toes, we pivot your foot, all right? <laughs> you don't want to spread out too much. Pivot your foot. Okay, that was my right foot. And do the left foot. Put your weight on the right side, nice and straight. Pivot your left side. I think you can only do about four times. Okay, otherwise you get too split and you cannot get it back. Close, close, close. Here. Yeah. Then do this practice again. Okay, you can do this type of things every day, even at, you, you and I are not together. And stay. And do this pivoting, pivoting, and pivoting back. Other side. Pivoting, pivoting. I use this pivoting to when I open up the feet. So try to remember this nice feeling about how to pivot the foot. What I like you to do is, I don't know, this might be a little bit challenging. Open up your feet a bit, closing. We talked about how, how to keep the balance properly, and we talked about small wrestlers. And this is a most strong stance. So we try to bounce a bit. And what I like you to do is bringing your body to the right, stretching this side, bringing your body to the left, stretch this side, do it twice more, swinging your body one side to the next. Remember we talked about graceful movements after this? And get your arms to go, and the arms to go to the other side, coordinating your arms to your leg movements, and coordinating your breathing in, and exhaling, huh? And I'm gonna make a circle with the arms, and stretch them. Going the other way, making circle with this position, slash up. Now, wh while I'm doing this, I'm just using my eyes to sending the energy out. Maybe one more time. Swing it, swing it, swing it, and swing it up. Okay, and keeping your body nice and straight and tight around here, and the swing it. I hope I'm not going too fast for you. And swing it. <sighs> up. Then bringing yourself up. We did the pivoting. Just watch me, please. Pivot. Standing. Pivot. Pivot a little bit amount. And you really have to lift your weight up when you're pivoting your foot. Do a small amount so you don't hurt your knees. Okay, so this is to keep the balance properly and nice and rhythm, rhythmical movement you can try. Next, what I'd like you to do is, just one more thing I, I guess we can do. Pivot your right foot, all right? Left foot where they are, and just to stay in that way. So I have a little twist. All right, you can twist and bring in your left arm to join the right hand. Bring it up and hold. I call this a um, 
warrior pose in the easiest form. Then bringing your right foot back and see if you can pivot your left foot. We have to do the same thing. Warrior pose. And the right arm goes up. If your right arm is painful, just take it easy. Don't have to do this. Here. And the warrior pose. Then facing straight, pivoting your feet back, and the close. And we, I'm going to go back to the chair. And what I like to do is stand on the right side of the chair. All right? It's nice to have a chair back. See if you can get your, so you're, you're standing on the left foot. Just to do pointy, pointy. And a little bounce, 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 bounce. And to the side, side, side side and to the back 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 do it again i'm gonna go slower i don't have much space in the back so but if you have space in the back try to kick it out a little bit more to the back um, i'm standing on the left foot right foot goes forward and close one more time front and close and the side Close. Make sure to stretch your leg in this case. All right, to the back, you can stretch. And one more time. Getting your arm to coordinate. Can you manage that? Right, close. To the right, close. And back. This is a little hard. Right, close. Right, close. To the back. Here. Now we are going to go other way. Left three, both sides equally. And stand on the right foot, right hand on the chair, and get your left foot in front. Left hand in front. And the cross. Left foot to the side, left arm to the side, cross. And the back. Hard, hard to coordinate myself. Front. Go, go a little faster. Front, side, and the back. Front, side, and back. You can go slower. Let's try it slower. Front. So in that case, I'm knee bending right knee and straight. I'm knee bending my right knee. Pushing your left leg out to the side, the left arm to the side. And I like you to know which muscles you're using in each move. Move itself is very simple, but it's nice to know what parts of the body is benefiting. Close, back. All right? So what I'd like you to do is going back to the chair. And we are going to do a nice quiet time. And you can sit a little bit deeper and making your hands in that diamond shape, bringing it to your lower dantian again, relaxing your shoulders, getting into nice breathing, deeper one, breathe through your nostril, exhale through the nostril if you can, hmm. reason of nostril breathing for me is so do not lose much of moisture from the body. Mouth breathing is like lots of people do mouth breathing in a, in a athletic field. You you in that case you have to drink quite much of water or try to get get yourself more hydrated somehow. So I use nostril breathing. You can try both if you wish. Breathing through your nostril. And exhale. One more time. Breathing in. And exhale. Bring your hands in the front. Meditate for a few seconds. 
emptying your any kind of thoughts. Just nice and calm, no thoughts in the brain. And bringing your arms up, getting good energy from the atmosphere, bringing that into your body, and calm down. Mm -hmm.